All right, uh, we're going to Chris next. Chris. Hey, it's great to talk to you. You Thanks so much for being here. Uh, I kind of have a two-part question, and it kind of comes down to, like, how you save things from going south. So I don't know if you have, like, any particular go-to tips if a scene starts going south on maybe how you can resurrect it. And then I know we've already had a question about, like, a scene partner, but if there is, like, um, if you've ever had, like, a scene partner that you just always are on a different page with, do you have any experience actually overcoming that hump or, or is there any possibility of, of salvaging that? So yeah, two good questions. Let me go to the first question. So when a scene is going south, first of all, you know a scene is going south because as you're doing it with your partner, you both slowly are starting to back up to the, to the back of the stage. So first thing is just to take a step forward, you know, walk up to the edge of the stage and just at, come in with a big offer, just a big offer. It can be out of left field. Um, you know, you're sitting here doing a boring, um, a boring scene about accounting and then <laughs> you feel the audience and then just take a step to the front of the stage and be like, that plane is on fire. You know, just, it, it, can, be, it can be ridiculous, but what you need to do is you need to get their attention back. And so the bigger the offer, the less, you know, uh, introspective character thing, which that, that's not going to get them back. So you, you need extra pal. So sometimes if I see a scene, it's, it's, it's even easier to help the scene if you're not in the scene. So if there's two people doing a scene as well, then you can come in with that big offer. You're like we have to leave the building, or just something to just, and they, just so the audience can be like, Oh, what? Um, so like an adrenaline shot, I guess, for the audience. That, that's how I would, I would do that. Um, as far as a scene partner, do you, because there have been times when I've been involved with groups and there's someone and the only, the only reason they're annoying me, it's not because they're not a lovely person, it's because they just don't have the chops yet. Now, is that what you mean? Someone that's just not there? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, one thing is that it's, it's, it is great to do it with those people because they're observing you and, and whether you know it or not through your, you know, like, you know, uh, you're helping them because they're performing with someone who's on a, on a higher level. So do know that you are helping them. Um, but it, it does become difficult. Like when you're, that's, here's my group and this person is just not bringing it. And they're just not, uh, that's kind of up to um, whoever, runs the show, whoever runs the group. Uh, one time I had to do something that was really tough. We were, we were talking about uh, the, the core group in Orlando. We were talking about moving to LA and we were saying, well, who is the core group? And there was this one person that had assumed that they would be in the core group. They were actually married to someone in the core group. And they said, who, who do you think should be in the core group? And they asked me first. And I said, everyone except that person. And it was so hard and they probably hated me for a long time. But I think that they learned to realize that they, that it wasn't their thing. And that, you know, instead of being angry at us for, for everyone eventually backed me up, even though I had to go first, I think they realized, yeah, if, if that was your thing, you would have learned with us and gotten better over time. And for whatever reason that was, so they went on and had a much different, but amazing career. So sometimes you have to do those, those hard, that was not fun. That's, I still think about that. That was, oh gosh, 25 years ago. Uh, I don't know. I hope yeah, that helped. That sounds like a fun, awkward conversation. <laughs> so awkward. thanks for sharing that. But yeah, no, that's, that's helpful. Yeah. That's, it's, I mean, the, 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 it's, it's different when you're just learning and in a class, but when you are charging money for people to see entertainment, if you don't deliver that entertainment, they're not going to come back and then you're not going to get your money and then you can't keep your theater open. So there's a point where it's about uh, the quality of performance. That makes sense. Well, thank yeah. you so much. I appreciate that. Sure, man. Well, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs>